everybody and thanks for joining me. In this video tutorial we're going to talk about how you can use Google Classroom and Google Calendar to maintain communication with parents and students. Now if you're not familiar with Google Classroom you might want to go to my website and check out one of my videos on Google Classroom. But for those of you that are familiar I'm just going to walk you through a simple process that will actually help you save time and communicating lessons and announcements with students but also so that you can communicate what's going on in your classroom with parents. So we're going to go to classroom.google.com and if you've never been here you'll need a Google Apps for Education account to use Google Classroom and the first time you go there you might be asked if you're joining as a student or a teacher. Make sure that you select teacher but also keep in mind that as a teacher you'll still have the ability to either create your own classes or take part in another teacher's class. To create a class all you have to do is go to the top of the screen and click on the plus sign and click create class. But it just so happens I already have a class that I've set up and I've created here so I'm going to go ahead and open that class and when you're in Google Classroom you'll notice at the bottom right that you can click on the plus sign to add announcements, assignments, posts, or to create a discussion question. Now in Google Classroom any students that are part of your class will automatically receive an email notification letting them know that you've posted announcements or assignments in your class. But wouldn't it be great if your parents in your classroom were also able to see that information? So to get the ball rolling, let me show you what this looks like. Now first of all, at the top left, if I click on the classroom main menu, you'll see I have a spot for my classes, but I also have a spot that's marked calendar. If I click on calendar, I can see that I have a menu called all classes. If I click that drop down, I can see just my techie coach class. Now at this time, I don't have anything in there. So I'm going to go ahead and add an assignment so you can see what this looks like when assignments are added to the calendar. So I'll go back to classes and click on Techie Coach. And I'm going to add an assignment really quick that just has a due date during this week. So I click Create Assignment. And I'm going to add this really quick so we can save time. So here I have an assignment that's due on February 9th. And if I click Assign, it goes ahead and it will update my stream. And you can see here it's in my stream. But if I go back to the top and click on Calendar, you can see that it has been added to my Techie Coach calendar. Now, if we were to go over to Google Calendar at calendar.google.com, you can also see that over on the left under My Calendars, when I created my Google Classroom class, Google automatically added a calendar for the Techie Coach class. And you can see that assignment that's due tomorrow as well. Now, as a general rule, the only people that can participate in a Google Classroom course are students in your domain, which makes it difficult sometimes to share information with parents. But because of the extra addition of a Google Calendar for your classroom, you can quickly and easily add information to your class and still feel confident in the fact that that information can be shared through a calendar. So to do that, I'm going to go to this Techie Coach calendar and I'm going to click the drop down menu and go to calendar settings. Now make sure that you are looking at the proper calendar by looking at the calendar name and the organization. And I'm going to go to the section on sharing this calendar and I'm going to make this calendar so that it can be shared with others. And right now it's only going to be shared with people in my organization. But I want to make sure that this is available to parents, so I'm going to click Make This Calendar Public, and I'm going to leave it so that they can see event details. Then I'll click Save, and it's going to ask me if I'm sure I want to do this, so I'm going to click Yes because I'm sure. And so now it's set up so that anybody that finds this calendar or anyone that I share the link with can see this calendar. My next step would be to go back into the calendar settings and find a link so I can share my calendar with others. So I'm going to go to the bottom left and on calendar address I've got two options the iCal address and the HTML address. The iCal address gives me an address that I can share with others and they can paste this into any calendar that they choose that supports the iCal format. So I could copy this, paste it into an email and share it with others. 
But what's going to be most handy is if I share this HTML address. And that gives the direct address that anyone can go to in a web browser to view our calendar. So I'm going to copy that link. And I'm going to go to a new tab on my browser and paste it in so you can see what others would see if they went to this address. So here's our calendar. And as you can see here, this is our Techie Coach calendar. That's my classroom name. And here's the assignment that's due tomorrow. So by doing this, by placing that out there so that parents can see it and sharing it with them in an email, they can keep up with assignments that are due in their children's classes. If you want to go one step further, you could also add this to a Google site. And it's very easy to do so. So let me go to a Google site that I've created for just this kind of example. Go to sites.google.com if you're not familiar with this. In this case, I already have a website that I've set up called My Awesome Website that I use for training purposes. And we're going to use that to show how you can add a Google Calendar to the website so that others can see it if they're visiting your website for the first time. Now all you have to do to add a calendar to your page in Google Sites is click on the pencil to edit your page and place your cursor where you want the calendar to appear. Then go to the top, click Insert, Calendar, and it will show you a list of calendars that you currently have related to this account. Now the one I want is the one for my Google Classroom class called Techie Coach. So I'll place a check next to that item and click Select. And now we have some options on how we can display that calendar. You can set up a height or width. If you leave width blank, it'll set it to 100%, but I don't want to do that, so I'm going to set it to 600, which is about the same as the height and I can choose a month, week, or agenda view. I'm going to choose a weekly view so that parents can see it a little bit more easily and then I'll click Save. And then one more step, we're going to click Save to save our current Google site page and now we can see what the parents will see when we get to this page. So here you can see just a weekly view of what's going on in the Techie Coach class. You can see our assignment that's due tomorrow, but if I'm a parent that has a Gmail account I can add this to my own Google Calendar simply by clicking on this button at the bottom right where it says Add to Google Calendar. If I click, it takes me to my Google Calendar page and it will ask me if I'd like to add it to my own personal Google Calendar. Well, hopefully this gives you some ideas on how you can share events and assignments in your Google Classroom with your parents and students by using Google Calendar. If you have questions, please feel free to contact me or go to my website at www.techiecoach.com. Thanks for joining me. 